It's Shark Week, so what better way to prepare for the coming of the fifth Sharknado than a retrospective on the first trilogy? It was just 2013 where the phenomenon known as Sharknado took the world by storm, <laughs> literally and figuratively. But no matter how ridiculous the series got, and it got batshit ridiculous, at the core it's about the Shepard family and how the Sharknado brought their family closer together. It stars Ian Ziering as Finn, get it? as an ex-pro surfer and bar owner suddenly turned badass Sharknado Hunter. And there's his wife April, played by Tara Reid, who throughout the series undergoes some serious transformations. I like the look. She's definitely buzzworthy. The series is known for its many B-list and C-list cameos, from Lorenzo Lamas to Lou Ferrigno to Vivica Fox to Frankie Muniz, from Kurt Angle to Y2J. But my favorite cameo so far has got to be the master of keeping everyone waiting, GRRM. Van Slamage Spotlight. Out there it sure looks like winter is coming. I guess winner came early. Now for the top three signature moves. Top three signature moves. First is the Hollywood Star Killer. You okay? My mom always told me Hollywood would kill me. He should have listened to his mama. Second is the Commander in Chief, Raka. Nobody attacks my house. At this point, I almost feel sorry for the sharks. Almost. And finally, the open shark surgery. They're sharks, they're scary. No one wants to get eaten. But I've been eating! Go kill some sharks! His speech gives President Whitmore a run for his money. The Sharknado series is a very entertaining franchise that successfully merges shark attacks with disaster movies and puts B-movies back into the spotlight. From Los Angeles to New York to Washington DC and even space, there's plenty of destruction and inventive shark kills and deaths. Hell yeah. Talk about cutting edge technology. It was also full of hilarious and head scratching WT f moments. From Shark Frogger to using sharks to re enter the atmosphere and even giving birth in sharks. And there's also this. Not gonna need this again. Now that's what I call. A handgun. On the Van Sandwich meter, I give the first trilogy a combined 4 out of 5 masks. I'm definitely excited to see if they ever run out of ideas. Thanks for joining me for Jack Van Slam vs Sharknado, a retrospective. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe and tell a friend. i love to hear in the comments what your favorite moments were and what you'd like to see slammeranged. You know what you just did, don't you? Don't say it. Jump the shark.